So Scentbird has been rebranded. If you want to hear about that, stay tuned. Scentbird, I used to have a subscription to this. And if you remember like a year ago, I did a video on all the different subscription services, comparing them all to figure out which one was best for you. Well, Scentbird has since rebranded a couple months ago now. So I wanted to give an update on that and talk about Scentbird again. So whew, let's start with the changes. So if you had Scentbird before, it came with these vials, the little like bird on top here. And in the same case that pretty much all of them have, the little twist up and you just pull them out. I actually quite like these. And then it said Scentbird on the side here. I actually found nothing wrong with these. They're beautiful. I take them out of here. And if you can see, I, oh, you can't see. Um, I'll show a clip that I put them in my, I, I put them in the lipstick case here, all of them, and it works out really well for me. So they upgraded the cases. And again, as usual, they do have different colors so you can tell them apart. And on the inside here, this has changed too. It's more like a test tube kind of bottom. And then it has a much more ornate case to it. These just split in half. It's kind of like a clamshell kind of design. I think this is actually really nice. These look a little bit more elevated. And then it says in gold, scent bird on the side here. I did get three fragrances to try. Actually a pretty good burst too, huh? Oh my God, that one is so good. Oh, okay, I'll tell you about the fragrances, don't worry. Mmm. Uh, so the pricing is now, it's about $17 a month. I think it's really $16.95 for your three cents. I do have a code for you though, Greta, that will save you 55% off your first month. But for November 20th to December 5th for the holidays, they actually have 60% off, which is about seven dollars for you which is kind of cool for your first month but after that promo ends you can still use Greta and save 55 percent on your first month uh, so let's talk this is a subscription service so you will get these and then every month they will send you your queue i do love that they have an app they have an app that i've always rated as the best queue for all of the subscription services out there where you can just go on your phone and you can just um, you can just drop and slide and move around your queue, which is really kind of nice. And then you can see which ones are in the next month and then you can put them. I do think all of them pretty much have that you can only try that fragrance once in like a six month period. You can't just keep filling your queue with the same thing, obviously. None of them let you do that. So there is that. Um, and then you get um, a little bubble envelope with your refills. So I do like that. Let's see. These come now um, in this. They used to come the refills in these little like cardboard tubes kind of, but they now come in these little sleeves, which are actually kind of nice. I mean, it's really all I need. It is an 8 ml tube, which is the same. I do like that. 8 ml is supposedly a month supply. Obviously, there's variability in how much you spray, right? But in general, on average, and again, depending between if it's a freshie, you're gonna be spraying more, a beast you barely need to spray, but it averages out to an eight ml in one month supply. But you're getting three, so you're getting plenty for your month. So you're really kind of buying what you're using. You're not buying in excess. I mean, when we buy eight, 800 ml bottles a month with our budget, I mean, let's be honest, we're never gonna use that, right? Like ever. I mean, I always joke I could have 10 daughters and I would my collection would still outlive them all. So it's really paying for what you're going to use, which is really economical. Let's talk about the actual perfumes they have. Now, I do remember last year me saying that, you know, it was a lot of designers. They do also have other than perfume. They do have um, some like skincare and beauty items too. And I think like hand creams and stuff, which is really pretty cool. I never did try them. So I really can't speak to them. I always kind of stuck to the perfumes. Um, they do have now pretty much a 40-60 split between designer and niche, which I think is really cool. I did go through the brand list and look at all the niche brands they have. 
uh, let's see here. I wrote them down. And they do still have designers like Versace and Dolce and & Gabbana there. They have, now mind you, not all these brands, they don't have all of them, but they will have like one to four. It's a few of them they do have pretty much everything, and I'll let you know. But Amouage, Carner Barcelona. I got a lot of my Carner Barcelonas from Scentford. House of Siage, they have a couple. Ex Nihilio, I actually have some here. I'm going to show you in a second. Uh, Tiziana Terenzi, I got a lot of my Tiziana Terenzi from there as well. Tom Ford, Sense of Wood. I first discovered Sense of Wood through Scentford. Uh, let's see, Veronica Gabai. Also, I discovered Veronica Gabai through Sense of Bird. Tom Ford, Raja. Believe it or not, I have a bunch of my atomizers from Raja from Scentbird. Uh, the, the Parfum Cologne collection that was for men, they had that at Scentbird. And they also had the Essence of Cologne for women, like Elixir, um, the purple bottles. They had this collection also. And this collection they had at Scentbird. Obviously, I scooped those puppies up. You know I did. Sometimes they do go fast, so you do have to push them to the top of your queue, I think. Just insider secret. Uh, Parfums de Marly. I got a bunch of atomizers from of Parfums de Marly too, which is part of my collection now. Um, Arquiste, haven't tried those yet. Commodity, I haven't tried a lot of commodity yet, but they have all the commodities. Um, Floris, Floris London. Initio. I also got a bunch of atomizers from Initio before. Where is my Initio collection? I moved everything around when I expanded the trays, uh, when I expanded the shelves. So I'm still like, wait, where did I put that now? Initio, where are you? My Initio is all the way over there. There's a whole nother row. Ormond Jane, room 1015. That's where I got my cherry punk. I now have a bottle, but they have all the room 1015s and I tried them from Scentbird and that's how I discovered them like a year ago or so. Really like them. Hermetica, Harmonist, um, Creed, they have Aventus, Aventus for her. Um, like really good niche brands now. I feel like they're trying to add more niche, which I think is really cool. Uh, Maybe some of the younger people don't recognize some of those brands. They want to stick to the ones that are in Sephora and Ulta, which obviously they have all of those too. Uh, someone like me that doesn't really want to get a bottle of a designer because I want to try it, but I don't really need a full bottle of like a men's designer. I actually like these travel atomizers for that because that's really all I need to buy. And obviously I'm not going to get a bottle for 17, right? What was the advice my Uncle Peach gave me in high school? Greta, it's not a sale if you don't need it. So it may be cheaper to buy the bulk one, like say from Costco, but if you don't need it and you're never going to use it, it's not cheaper. And I know some people will say, yeah, but I could buy the full bottle for a little more and I can at least declutter it. You know what though? You're going to declutter it and you're going to have to steeply mark it down. And then whoever that middleman is, wherever you put it up for market, they're going to take a cut too. They always take some kind of transaction fee. So did you really save money in the end? I mean, maybe you did. It's possible. But a lot of times you didn't. But let's go through what I got. Well, let's do first the one I sprayed in the air because it's really giving me the vibe in here and I'm kind of liking it. That is by Her Heretic Dirty Hinoki. Now I'd heard about this. This is basically a woody clean fragrance. It's very clean woody with a little bit of like a pine needle tree, like a Christmas tree kind of essence outside. Um, there is a little bit of almost like a smoky kind of wood. It does have some uh, LMI in it, which is like that sticky resin is what it's supposed to smell like. Like if you're looking on a tree trunk and you see that gummy resin, that is what it's like, that sticky smell, sweet smell is what it's supposed to smell like. Plus a little frankincense, which is giving that like incense -y kind of almost smokiness kind of vibe to it. I really like this one. I wouldn't call it a date night fragrance. It's more like a Sunday Zen kind of fragrance, like relaxing in the mode. 
uh, a guy actually could probably make this more of a date night, but for a woman, I think it's more like your daytime, alone time, introspective mood kind of vibe is what I get from it. However, I do have a date night fragrance for you. Um, also, they come with these cards in there showing you what the fragrance looks like, showing you the notes, and also giving you um, kind of a description of the fragrance so that you can learn about what you're smelling. You're not really going in totally blind, which is kind of nice, but I think they all do that. Okay, so let's talk about my favorite. <laughs> Ex Nihilo Fleur Narcotique. Oh my goodness. This is heavenly. Oh my gosh. Let me just spray you. <sighs> okay, that's like femininity. I had heard about this. I don't know why I, I was like, oh, it just sounds like a plain floral to me. I don't know. This is amazing. So yes, okay, so this is bergamot, lychee fruit, peony, transparent wood, and musk. So yes, you get like a little burst of the bergamot, little citrus opening, and then you get this gorgeous pink florals with that sweet tart kind of, lychee's really sweet actually. So it's like a sweet pink florals kind of fragrance. And then in the dry down, you get that beautiful musky vibe, that like cozy musky vibe on your skin with still getting that sweet pink florals. It is so, so amazing. This is like epitome of fem femininity. I absolutely love this one. So then the third one that I got, I had also heard about. It's a newer one from Nyx Nihilio but it's Lust in Paradise. So I have pink pepper, white peony, lychee, white cedarwood, and musk. So we the difference is the opening. Instead of the citrus, we have the little fiery pink pepper, and then a slightly different, a different version of a peony. And then in the base, instead of transparent wood and musk, we have white cedarwood and musk. But it really does change the fragrance a bit. I feel like it goes more unisex, kind of. Like it lost that uber feminine kind of vibe that I absolutely love. That like fruity, epitome of a fruity floral. Just, it's still really good. It's like a, it's almost fresher and zestier because of that pink pepper in there. I like the, the Fleur Narcotic better. I really do. Narcotic? Narcotic. Not, I always want to say narcotic. Narcotic. I actually like that one a lot better. But you know what? I got to try them. And honestly, a lot of times, 8 mLs is all I really need because I'm constantly rotating fragrances. So I love these services. Um, but yeah, that's what I got this month. Have you guys tried Scentbird? Have you tried it lately? Have you tried it since the rebrand? Let me know down below. Let me know if you have any subscription services, which ones you use, if you've used Scentbird. I wanna know. I wanna like get my finger on the pulse here. Um, and don't forget, I do have the code Greta that will save you 55%, but the link down below is gonna save you 60% from November 20th to December 5th. So, and then after that, the code Greta will also just always save you the 55%. So don't forget that. You can get your first month super cheap. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Mwah.